everyone and welcome back to another Wizzy Lot eventing vlog. Today we are actually finally going eventing. Saren is going to live up to Wizzy Lot eventing and we are going to Ashwood's one day event. It's been a long time coming, it's time to do it. So basically I did pull Mini OD and it's great and the jumps, you know, she, she really likes it. But this time I'm actually going out on the hunter trial course. So we'll see how she copes with it. But uh, we've been going really well recently. I'll attach some videos here. We're doing loads and loads of flat work because I think it's going to be the key to her jumping. And it just really hit home how much flat work you have to put in to get the canter and everything ready for the jumping. So I think the work I've been doing with the canter work has definitely paid off recently with her jumping. Like she just feels so much better on the flat and she's so much more balanced. Even there asking for that transition, that's her worst reign. So I was pleased with that. And we have a special guest today, Bailey. This is Bailey, this is mum and dad's dog. Oops, he's gone out of focus. <laughs> um, and mum and dad are coming with me. For the first time in over 10 years, for the first time they're coming with me and it'll be their first time coming to a one day event. So um, fingers crossed, says he can be as good as she has been and I'm not about to jinx it, please. And I can just keep my head. So um, yeah, fingers crossed and uh, yeah, enjoy the ride. So mum's probably gonna hate this, but uh, say hi mum. Hi. And this is dad. Dad's driving the Land Rover because you just want to go driving, don't you, Dad? With you, he's missed his uh, he's missed his car that I've been hogging for the last few months. So uh, yeah. Hi, Dad. Hi. Dad. <laughs> and then there's Mr. Bales. Bales. Ready? This is now I'm camera shy. <laughs> so it's nice. So Dad's gonna hook up the trailer for me, and then I'm gonna get little Ses Waldo ready. Here she is, little scruffer. Hi, gorgeous girl. Come on then. So it says he's just having the usual breakfast to line a tummy. And we've got some work to do, especially that bit. So I'm going to give this mane and tail tonic a go from Mooshack Equestrian. And I am very kindly a brand ambassador now. And I did buy this myself. But um, I'm going to give it a go. I usually use NAF, but I thought. Let's try supporting small businesses and see what we think. Because uh, let's be honest, this mane is horrendous. All right, Grumpy. She doesn't like it to help me now. Oh, that smells amazing. So I've given her a good old groom. I've completely given up with her mane because it's just a mess. But she looks reasonable. I don't plait because one, I can't plait at the moment. And two, um, it's unaffiliated, so. I'm a bit lazy. Got rid of that dark mark. Just gonna put her travel boots on now and uh, we'll get going. says he is in. Are you excited? Yes! Okay, well, we'll get going in a minute. Good girl. So we've just arrived at Ashwood. Well done, Stewie. Tell us they're lovely, didn't you, lad? <laughs> it's a cross-country course. So I'm going to have a little walk around and just make sure that it's the same as last time. And yeah, looks all mowed. Looks all good, green. Dad and Saren having a little moment there. <laughs> oh, Saren, you little cutie pie. Oh, that's so cute. So just walked the show jumping course and it looks very nice. Had a little refresh of the cross country and that looks good too. The ground doesn't look too bad considering how much um, hot weather we've had and they've kept it really nice, long in places. So uh, yeah, looking forward to getting on it getting going really. Remember just to ride really get her on the bit round here because the warm-up gate is there so hopefully there's not napping. Go get Anne and Buzz they're ready to go for their dressage. How are you feeling? <laughs> <laughs> Looking yeah. forward to it. For, uh, what's 
looking forward to it, but yeah, for once in my life, I'm not feeling too nervous. So, but well, we shall see how we go. Good boy, Buzzy. Yeah. Isn't he beautiful? Oh, he's like everybody's dream Barbie pony. <laughs> So by some miracle, we managed to rope Mum into platting up like old times a pony club and I'm just massaging Sarah with the equilibrium massage mitt and honestly this is becoming a pre-ride routine because she's so much better after she's had a little treatment of her right shoulder and behind a saddle when she's in season so yeah, I'm really pleased with it. So onto the dressage warm up and we had about 15 minutes to warm up so plenty of time. The ground was quite rutty and quite hard in this warm up arena so I didn't really want to do too much but you know you still have to kind of get them moving. So I kept finding that Sarah wasn't really holding her contact very well and I had to give her a good jiggle with the bit a fair bit and then she gets the wrong leg there because she just shoots off. So um, dad just said to me he was like shorten up your reins you're just doing you're just not really doing much with your reins so after I shorted up my reins it was like a little light bulb went off and Sarah just became a dressage pony so here we are we're just trotting around the outside of the arena as a dressage ring ready to go in and she felt incredible so if you watch my vlog from the mini one day event at pool equine you'll know this is the same dressage test so it's BE90 test 95 the first movement is enter at working trot down the centre line and we got a kind of off the, off the track so she was kind of drifting towards the left which I could feel. She's not the most balanced coming down in a straight line. And then the next movement is change the rein H to F. She got a lovely 7.5 for this and she felt amazing going across that centre line. Working trot so it's a half a 20 metre circle from F to A. So she's just coming around now and they did say that over the centre line she had a kind of change of outline which I agree with as she just pipped her head up there and just changed her bend slightly. So we're coming around now on the next bit of this circle and we got 7.5 for that to finish off at C. And the next movement is a canter transition between C and H. She got a 7.5 for that and they said obedient nice transition so that's a miracle for Saren. I uh, could have gone in the corner more when I was coming around to give myself more room for that circle at B to E. But, you know, we live. <laughs> and um, they said on the circle, Sarah was on the forehand in the canter, which, yep, she was. She's unbalanced and it's a work in progress. And we're trying our best with it. You can't rush it. It's just going to be a case of her getting stronger. So um, we're on to the second circle now. So it's half a circle again. And again, changing outline, she put her head up, but yep, she did. This is her worst rain now. She finds it's really hard, bless her, but she's trying so hard for me. And then another counter transition between C and M this time. And you can already see that how different and unbalanced this rain is for Saren. She is so hard to get the canter right. You can just see it starting to come there. The one, two, three, four beat. No, the one, two, three beat I want but she does the one, two, three, four B. We're working on it, we're working on it. So that's all we can do at the moment. And then back to trot. And I felt like she did a lovely transition to walk there. She didn't pip her head up. We've been working really hard on getting her downward transitions and just getting her to keep her head still. She still does struggle with it. She got some sevens there. And then we're gonna do a EBF walking on a long rein. So we got a six for that, they said they wanted a more consistent stretch needed, which is fair enough. We haven't really done a lot of practice of that, so I need to really pick up on that. And then um, when we come down the centre line in a minute, so we're doing FAD, we want to come down the centre line in medium walk. They said she was off the centre line, which is fair enough. She's just a bit wobbly, bless her. She's just a little bit wobbly. We haven't done much practice on centre line, so I need to pull my finger out and do some. And then we go to trot at D, and then we're gonna halt at G. And again, she's off centre and she's not quite square, but oh my God, I was so pleased with her. That just felt like the best dressage test and the best flat work she's done. 
So yeah, buzzing, really chuffed with that. You're pleased with that, yeah. So here we are in the show jumping warm up and Saren felt amazing. I just did some trotting around, did a few jumps because she was already warmed up nicely from dressage. And um, yeah, she just felt amazing, just popping around, dead easy, dead chilled and really willing. She was just so rideable, which is amazing for her. So I'll just let you watch the rest of these clips and then I will do the voiceover of my show jumping round. Here we are into the show jumping round and Saren felt amazing. She did a little circle around that jump just to get our canter nice. Popped over number one easy and then got a really nice line to number two and she said, oh, I could do that more. I took a flyer. And then here was the one I was worried about and nah, I didn't need to be. She did feel slightly like she'd gone numb to the left rein. So I was a bit worried that she would run out, but just kept my leg on, leg on, outside leg on, and just went for it. And she didn't even bat an eyelid, and then she just popped around. She was so rideable the whole time, and I absolutely loved every minute of it. Um, coming around here, I walked it with mum, and we were like, right, let's just go round the blue jump, because I didn't want her to lock onto the blue jump if I came in front of it to this fence. So yeah, I, I felt like the line was really good. Then it was a dog's leg to um, number eight, I think. Yeah, number eight. Popped that, stuttered into it a little bit, but still just jumped it. This, this height's fine for her. She's really confident jumping this height now. And then there was a little gate in this one and she didn't even bat an eyelid at it again. Popped it over, dead easy. And then Come into number 10, yeah, she just popped it again, and then I'm looking again. Number 11, really, really nice jump to this. I was so chuffed for that fence. Like, that's when she jumps properly, and that's how she can jump, but I kind of cut in between the fences because I just felt like it was going so well, and to be honest, I was like, please, please. So I just kind of cut in, but luckily she kept the planks up, and as you can see, I was totally elated with that round, and yeah, one of her best show jumping rounds, I think, so buzzing with that. No problem. Thank you, got it. Good girl, go on. Look where you're going. Good girl, go on. Woo! Good girl, go, Sandy, go. Go on, turn. Look where you're going. Good girl, go on. Good girl, go, says. Good girl! 
Yay, good girl, keep going. Some more in. Look, little star for you. You clever girl. Yes, you are. You're so clever. You're so clever. Oh, so that is our first ever one day event. All done. 
she was an absolute superstar. Cross country, she just blitzed round. She knows what she's doing. She blitzed round. She knows what she's doing. Been from the off now, and yeah, no, no worries at all. Um, very big competition today, so loads of people in the classes, um, and really high dressage scores. So we know what we need to work on, but work in progress and. I am so pleased with her. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this vlog and uh, like, share, follow and subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. A new place, a new home for a while, let me feel alive.